Hi, my name is Georgia Kerrigan. I'm a sophomore STA, and I'm going to be showing you my April setup for my bullet journal. My theme this month is frogs, lily pads, and strawberries. It's inspired by my favorite Instagram account, with KX, and I love her spread so much, so I decided to take some theme inspiration and give it my own twist and just kind of do the spreads in my own style, but use her theme ideas. So I kind of change up what I do in my bullet journal. Sometimes I make my themes just from my own ideas and sometimes I like to take inspiration from Instagram. So this month, I definitely took inspiration from Instagram because I just thought this theme was so cute. So right now I'm just filling in all of the pencil I did. So I sketched everything out in pencil already and now I'm going back in pen and marker and just filling it all in. And this is my color palette I used for the month. I wanted to keep it pretty simple, nothing crazy, because last month I ended up using like eight colors. And I just wanted something that was cute and fun and wouldn't take me very long. So this, this, these are my first two weeks, I guess. That was the three day week, first week in April. And then the other page was the next week in April. And then this is the next two weeks. And I like this theme because it's all pretty uniform and simple and it wasn't really that complicated. And so I had a lot of fun drawing out the little frogs and I thought it turned out super cute. And then here's the final flip through. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed watching me do my bullet journal setup for April. Thanks for watching. Me of my bullet journal spread for April. I will just be doing a cover page. So this March will be changed to April. I'll be taking you through half the journey because I did sketch this out in advanced, advance, excuse me. And uh, yeah, I get most of my inspiration from Pinterest, sometimes Instagram, mostly Pinterest though. This theme was definitely more of my complex spreads. As you can see, I will just be doing the cover page and the calendar. The calendar part is the least difficult, so I will talk through that one. I will be starting my calendar, which will be 4x4 four four boxes. I do 4x4 four four boxes most of the time. I will go in with a Pigma Micron 01, trace over everything. I am all over the place, from tracing to <laughs> use to coloring. But then I will attempt calligraphy and then add an effect with a white jelly roll. For the avocados, I used a bright green and a dark green for the rind. I gotta say, for the leaves and the oranges on the left, to the coffee with the hearts and the waffles, I'm not too satisfied with the colors I chose when I finished and I took a step back. I was like, hmm, not quite satisfied, but it's okay, happy mistakes. <laughs> now I'm coloring the avocado toast and then I'll do the eggs and the board. Since it was getting a little bit dark out and the, the sun was going down, the lighting does get a little bit questionable, so my apologies. Now I will be doing the waffles. Again, color choice is questionable. After I'm done with these waffles here, I will take a black dual brush pen to add a border on the month page. I don't know what it is about this border, but <laughs> it brought something to the table, I guess. It makes the page look really nice, and I like it. I like how it turned out.
Once I'm finished with the border, I will take a 005 Pigma Micron pen. It's the finest, I think it's the smallest one, but yeah, I will do the number, the days, and then I added in some avocados. And once I'm finished coloring in the avocados, I will add some washi tape to the top left and bottom right corner to uh, add in something other than just the calendar and avocados. But now we are finished, here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Hi, I'm Emma, I'm a sophomore, and I'm gonna be showing you how I do my bullet journals each month. I started this about a year ago, um, during when we first got into quarantine as a way to kind of relax myself during very stressful times. I found that I got very disorganized in the beginning of quarantine, and I saw bullet journaling as a way to escape for an hour or so and just relax my mind and do something that I really enjoy doing now. So this is me just outlining my calendar with black lines. Nothing really special happened in here. <laughs> So now I'm going to be drawing the numbers on the calendar. I'm using like a burgundy-ish color. I'm starting on a Thursday, obviously, because April started on a Thursday. There are 30 days in April, so I drew a couple more squares than I needed, but it's better to have more than to not have enough. So now I'm coloring the little designs. I didn't really have a specific theme this month like I normally do. I just was kind of drawing cute little designs that I thought were fun. Nothing really specific happening here. This is what the calendar page ended up looking like. I think it's super cute and simple and that's kind of what I like. So I like it a lot. Now, this is the most tedious part of bullet journaling. This takes a lot of patience, and I typically, especially in the beginning, get frustrated while doing this. This is where I'm tracing out my individual calendars, where I write like to-do lists or important things that are happening on a given day, and this takes a long time. So this is how my journal ended up looking this month. I'm really happy with it, and yeah, I was really happy to make this video, and I hope you like it.